What? What? Huh? As the marshal replaced spent shells in his rifle, Brody Rockwell stirred on the ground beside him. Best lie still and be quiet, bub. You don't. Either I'll give you another rap on the head, or one of those Apaches out there will do worse by planting a bullet in it. Ain't you ever gonna lay off the dang Apaches? How many times I gotta tell you that... Wait a minute. You ain't... Who in the blazes are you? Look a little closer. I didn't hit you that hard. Marshal Firestick? What are you doing here? It didn't occur to you when you kidnap one of my deputies that I might take an interest? But I, I never... Where's Mr. Beartooth? Don't worry. He ain't far. He's working on keeping some of those engines off our back. You mean there really are Indians? The bullet holes in these saddlebags didn't get there by themselves. My God. I didn't think... No, you didn't think, you squirrel-brained little jackass. If you had, none of us would be in this fix. Leastways, not this particular one. A moment later, as if to emphasize exactly what this fix was... The Apaches cut loose with another attack. Once again, they rose up in unison and began pouring rapid fire shots at the pair hunkered deep in the notch. At the height of this, the one farthest out broke away from the rubble he'd been shooting from behind and attempted to race across the opening between the fingers of rock, seeking to gain fresh cover on the other side. No, you don't, you son of a bitch! Firestick leaned forward across the saddle barricade and triggered his yellow boy as fast as he could lever in fresh round bullets singed the air all about the running Apache. A couple kicked up geysers of dust in front of him. Finally, a slug caught a piece of his pumping forearm and spun him partially around. Ah! Halting and then turning back the way he'd started from, the Apache flung himself headlong into a diving roll, regaining cover amid the rubble he'd first sprung out of. Once the runner had been halted and turned back, the Apache providing cover fire stopped shooting and dropped from sight. A sudden silence gripped the scene, the only movement coming from the layers of powder smoke curling lazily in the air. Firestick dropped low behind the saddle barricade once more and began reloading the yellow boy. As he did this, his gaze came to rest on young Brody, who lay on his belly, one arm extended around the end of the saddles, gripping a colt in his fist. A faint wisp of smoke rose up from the gun's muzzle, and it suddenly hit the marshal that the kid hadn't hesitated to join the fight against the Apaches. Jesus, that happened so fast, I... I... Had that brave made it to the other side and gotten into those rocks over there, they'd have closed on us like pincers. That would have put us in a lot sorrier shape. Will they be back? Will they try something more? You can bet on it. <laughs> 